how do you get a white whiskey to kind of look more like what we're accustomed to drinking, those dark whiskeys? How do you get flavor into whiskeys? So what I did is I went out and I got us a nice, nice white whiskey. This is straight from the still. It gets adjusted with uh, a little local water at the distillery. There's nothing smooth about it, but it's great whiskey, okay? So how do we take great whiskey and get some flavor into it, get some color in it, get the mellow notes into it? Flavor, color, get it, uh, get it evened out so your, your regular guest, uh, it'll adjust to their palate. We flavored it with dark toasted oak, medium toasted oak, clove, black peppercorn, cinnamon stick, dried apples. And also I put a little bit of uh, brown sugar in there too. You can also uh, blend this into drinks as well. But now, try that out. You, tur you turn to white, pull the hairs off the back of your neck, uh, whiskey into a delicious holiday. you tell me if it's delicious. Oh, I can already smell it. But I mean, it's super smooth. The wood, I mean, we don't have oak barrels that we're putting it in, but these wood chips are totally gonna mellow it out. Give us that caramel color. That's delicious. The vanilla notes, I mean, all that happens with the wood. Delicious, and you know what else shall feel simple and fun? So we're gonna do four liters of this uh, this blend. Okay. It's gonna take 30 days for this to mellow out. So you can't rush this. You don't wanna be sipping on it on day two. It's not going to be good. So there'll be a follow-up episode in 30 days where we're partying with this. So let's go ahead. What we're going to do is sure. put this blended up. Okay. I've actually got the ingredients in the smoker. Uh, yes, we actually smoked all the ingredients, and I'm going to bring those out, and we'll talk about what we got ready. Let's do it. All right, Chef Phil, you just came back from the pit, from the smoker. It looks like we're about to set up a campfire or something fun, <laughs> something interesting. It definitely looks fall, so talk to me. Tell me what we got. Okay, I've got... Uh, for the batch that we did, if you're doing a small single bottle batch, let's talk a one bottle batch, this is bigger. One bottle batch, three tablespoons of brown sugar, about uh, eight or nine allspice cloves, uh, uh, whole berries, uh, some black peppercorn, actually black pepper goes in this, some black pepper notes to enhance that hickory smoke. Uh, I've also got my wood chips in there. Uh, basically, I do one tablespoon of my dark roast mm -hmm. to three tablespoons of my medium roast, and mm -hmm. I'll rinse these with a little bit of distilled water and then uh, put them in here. And that way they're a little damp, they don't burn up on me. I don't want to toast okay. them any further. Yep. They're toasted as far as I want to go. And then uh, lastly, dried apples. So I smoked this for about 45 minutes, uh, about 200 degrees. Uh, and you can use uh, hickory or you can use uh, cherry or apple. I would not use uh, oak or pecan. That's a little too heavy of a smoke for this process. So all that's in there, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, push these cinnamon sticks down. Get them in there. What do you think you are? Okay. And then I'm going to pour mm. my whiskey right on top of it. Ooh! This just I looks like excited. an aquarium. I am excited. Aquarium of goodness. We're going to go ahead and put a lid on that nice and tight. But I want to go ahead and label this. I'm going to label the date on it. So in 30 days, we've got pure perfection here yes. is what you're telling me. And what we'll do um, is I would come out the first couple of days of it and give it a good little shake. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason why is we want that brown sugar to start to dissolve. Keep moving, yeah. There's no need to mix it. It's going to slowly dissolve as this is breaking down and all these flavors are going to start macerating. You'll know that you're getting close as these ingredients start to fall to the bottom wow. of the uh, of the whiskey. Super excited, Chef Phil. I think this is going to be great. Uh, we've added some barbecue to it. We've added a drink to it. Obviously, those two come together to hopefully make a perfect drink. Super excited. Yeah, it's amazing. We got to try the uh, the uh, small batch R&D sample of it. I can't wait. 30 days from now, we'll be trying the large batch. Always on cue.